Hello guys, uh, today I will try to make some uh, Russian bliny. Actually, I don't know, is it Russian or Ukrainian or uh, Belarusian, I don't know. This is uh, Slavic, Slovenian bliny. Um, if you type uh, in Google translate bliny, Google will say that uh, bliny are pancakes. These are lie. Actually, blini are not even close uh, to the pancakes. Pancakes are fluffy and uh, really thick. And blini are very thin and you can uh, wrap them around uh, some stuffing, maybe fr fried meat or some caviar. Actually, there are a lot of types of blini. Uh, you can make uh, blini with some kefir. I don't know how to translate kefir, really, I don't know. You know this uh, sour milk or something? Uh, you can make him, uh, them with regular milk, uh, you can make it with serum or just water. There are a lot of types of blini. But today I will make uh, the simple one with the milk, because uh, <laughs> all countries uh, have the milk in their shops, so you don't have to search for anything. First of all, uh, I will crack uh, three eggs. Why, first of all, I... Uh, oh, <laughs> double, double egg yolk. Uh, why, first of all? Uh, because uh, if accidentally uh, I will break some, some of these shells uh, inside our door, I will see it uh, on this part. Um, on this stage, I will see them, uh, these small pieces of uh, cracked shells, and I will remove them. And uh, if I break uh, my eggs, uh, I break my eggs, uh, on the flower, uh, the flower is white, and uh, egg shells uh, may be white, very bright, I, couldn't, I, can, uh, I cannot see them. So, first of all, three eggs. Damn. Those are four eggs, but never mind. Now we need about uh, 500 ml uh, of the milk. Just simple milk. And about uh, 300 grams of uh, all-purpose flour. Now about uh, salt and sugar. Uh, I want my blini to be a little bit sweet, a little bit. I need two tablespoons uh, of sugar, uh, like that. They won't be very sweet, so you can wrap um, uh, some meat inside them. You can eat them with some uh, cabbage or something else, uh, but uh, you can eat them uh, with something sweet like honey or maple syrup. So two tablespoons of sugar is not too much uh, and not too, 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 too little, too, too, too less. And salt, about one teaspoon of the salt, like, like that, more than enough. And of course, uh, some vegetable oil. In Russia, uh, sunflower oil is uh, very cheap. So I will put mm, one, two, three, four tablespoons of uh, sunflower oil. And there is one simple trick. Uh, if you want uh, your blini to be, your pancakes, okay, pancakes, uh, to be beautiful uh, with those bubbles, with those small round bubbles like uh, craters uh, on the moon, um, put there a little bit of baking soda. I mean, uh, half of the mm, teaspoon, maybe even less, maybe one third of the teaspoon, like that. Uh, those baking so this baking soda will create those uh, beautiful bubbles, uh, you will see that. Uh, now I will transfer all that uh, into my mixing bowl. Uh, I just assemble uh, all these ingredients uh, into this bowl, because uh, you can see nothing in <laughs> inside this bowl. But uh, if you do that and you have a mixer like that, uh, just... Uh, uh, assemble uh, all the ingredients uh, inside the mixing bowl. And now you should mix that really, really well with this whisker or maybe with this... Uh, uh, how it called? How to call this? I don't know, never mind, you understood me. Let's mix this all together. And now uh, you should balance uh, the thickness of your dough uh, with some water. Why? Uh, because uh, all the flour, the size of the eggs and everything else is, the, is different uh, in all the countries. So this is... Uh, it should be uh, very liquid, uh, super running, uh, to make your blini really, really thin. So I will put some water in there. But you just balance, uh, how it's called, to your eye, a little bit of water. So it should be... A little bit runnier, like, like that. I will mix that for a few seconds and we'll show you. This dough is super, super running, super thin, like that, almost like water. And you know, guys, the most important secret of making blini is to wait uh, before your dough. I don't know, I'm, I'm not a chemist, uh, chemist guy. 
I don't know how it works, but um, if you will fry it uh, like that, like uh, mix it and fry it right now, uh, all your blini will break. It, it will easily break apart. Maybe it will um, uh, perform, it will uh, make some gluten connections inside this dough. I don't know. Just wait about 20-30 minutes and your blini will be great. Just wait. D don't fry it uh, like that right after mixing. The easiest way uh, to fry your pancakes, to fry your Russian pancakes, to fry your blini, uh, is to melt uh, some butter before you start. Uh, and then use some brush uh, to oil your pan. Okay, now let's try to fry it, uh, to fry our first blin. Uh, medium heat, like that. My gas stove is really powerful, so uh, for me it's like uh, maybe 25-30% uh, of uh, all the power. And uh, let's put some butter, our melted butter in here, right on our frying pan. And now uh, let's put some dough on our frying pan. Uh, not much, not much dough, because this is really uh, liquid. And then just move it like that on our pan. Yeah, the first uh, blind is always a failure. Uh, I didn't uh, heat up uh, the pan. Ah, never mind, that's okay. And now let's wait. Wait for what? Wait uh, uh, for bubbles to appear uh, on the surface of our blin. Uh, let me show you closer. How to check the time uh, when, uh, when it's the time to flip your blin? Uh, the time to flip your blin is when um, it's really dry on this surface, on upper surface. Uh, that means that uh, it's really browning uh, downside like maybe 30 seconds or something like that. And now we can flip it. Just flip it and this is our first uh, blin. You can put, uh, you can put uh, a little bit of butter right here so it won't stick to your plate. And about uh, 20 to 30 seconds uh, on another side. Okay, uh, this was our first blin. And uh, first blin is always a blob. Now let's put another butter in here. Like, like that, and the movement. Slow movement all of the pan. So the dough covers all of the pan with one movement, you know? That's the thing. And just wait uh, for your blin to dry up. Of course, the better way is to use non-stick pan, like mine. And you can flip your blin with one movement. Yeah, first blin was a blob. First blin is always a failure. But the second one is actually really nice, I think. And I will put some butter on my blin. Damn, that smells really good, actually. Let's check what's on this side. Everything is fine, I think. Maybe 10 more seconds. Okay, that's another blin in my plate. Let's put another one. A little bit of butter. A little bit of dough. One big splash and one movement all around the frying pan. Slow, slow movement. So the dough should cover all the plate. Maybe 30 seconds and let's flip our blin. Like that. If you have a non-stick pan, uh, this is super easy to flip this all around and check uh, what's going on uh, on the other side of your blin. But actually you can fry your blin even on the cast iron pan. That's not a problem if you have a lot of melted butter. The baking soda uh, inside our dough um, helps us uh, to, um, to deliver, uh, to create this, you know, this texture, this bubbly, small, bubbles texture of our blini. Of course, uh, this is not necessary. Ah, I want to put some oil in there, some butter in there, uh, so uh, my blins, my pancakes won't stick uh, together like that. Let me show you uh, the movement uh, on this side, the movement of my hand. First of all, a little bit of butter, 
and then a little bit of dough, like, like that, on this side, and like that, and now it covers all the pan. Uh, do it slowly. Uh, if you do it fast, uh, uh, you will create uh, the holes, you know, the holes inside your blin. Look at these small, small holes in there, this texture. This is, uh, this is baking soda. So, uh, the result uh, of our work, of my work, is really, really thin blini. Or blini, blini, I know, don't know how to say it. Uh, I can make them even more thin, but uh, if I make them more thin, they're like half of a millimeter or something. If I make them more thin, like paper thin, uh, they uh, won't handle uh, any stuffing, it will break apart. So, this is the texture of our blini. You can wrap anything inside them. But uh, the best way to eat blini, my favorite way, is to eat them with uh, sour cream, maybe honey, uh, or maybe with some uh, caviar and uh, sour cream. Let me show you. And I will serve my uh, blini uh, like that. Like uh, small triangles. <laughs> Actually, they smell really great. And maybe some sour cream and some caviar, like that. I love sour cream with caviar. Okay, guys, uh, this is the simple way, <laughs> most the simplest way uh, to make your blini uh, with some milk. Uh, you just mix all together, wait 20 or 30 minutes and just fry it on the butter. And that's it. You can eat it like that, you can dip it in something, or you can mm, put your stuffing inside your blin. Like that, you can put some sour cream, you can put some caviar, and just wrap it like a burrito or something. Sorry for my English and thank you for the subscribing and thumbs up.